Hello there adventurers and welcome to Wall ADM. Today we're going to take a look at some quest or one shot ideas that involve jack-o'-lanterns. Now these are ideas that were submitted by you the subscriber and if you'd like to see your name and idea in a future video then stay tuned to the end and I'll tell you what's coming up next. But let's take a look at these quest ideas or one shots that involve jack-o'-lanterns. Our first idea was submitted by Dr. Feargood who writes, The adventurers have been hired to deliver a package to the hermit at the edge of town. The box reads, From mother with love, I hope this provides you security. The hermit grows the grandest pumpkins, but never sells any to the townsfolk. But all seem gone after All Hallows Eve. The adventurers can't help themselves and open the box, only to discover a blue blanket. Now, Dr. Feargood has already taken a deep dive into this one-shot idea. In fact, that hermit is actually a pumpkin lich, and Dr. Feargood has created an entire stat block for this pumpkin lich, so you can use it in your game for a villain or a big bad. And if you'd like to download these, he's offering for free. I will put a link in the description below. So that just leaves our blue blanket. Now it's intended for the pumpkin lich or the hermit that lives outside of town, but is there another pumpkin lich with the regards to from mother with love? And what does this blue blanket do? If the characters open it in advance, perhaps it's a magical item that one of them can attune to and they can protect themselves from some of the abilities and the attacks of the pumpkin lich. And if you look at this stat block, they're going to need all the help that they can get. Now with regards to the townsfolk, there's an ability from the pumpkin lich that can turn them into pumpkins and then back again. So perhaps all of the pumpkins that the hermit has are actually townsfolk at one point. But what happens to those townsfolk or those pumpkins after All Hallows Eve? This should be a lot of fun. Be sure to download the stat block and thanks to Dr. Feargood for providing us with this fantastic material. Our next one-shot idea comes to us from Rakoja the Loxodon, who writes, A green hag uses the pumpkins in her pumpkin patch maze to seal the souls of villagers lost in the maze, turning them into jack-o'-lanterns. The bodies of the soulless villagers turn into scarecrows, scaring off potential victims. However, they are only trying to help them through the maze. So this is easily set up for a missing person case. Perhaps the adventurers need to go and find this maze because someone went in there a few days ago and has yet to return. And I really like the idea here of using scarecrows as warning signs. So they probably cannot speak and they're coming out as the characters or the adventurers are approaching this maze or trying to go through it. They encounter these scarecrows that are just trying to scare them away, warning them that it's dangerous to go inside. Or there's probably a few scarecrows that are inside the maze that are going to point them in safer directions. So it's going to be interesting to see how the players handle it with their characters on whether or not they're going to build a trust with these scarecrows. Now along the way I would probably have pumpkins throughout and that is where we would make saving throws and I would probably treat it like a turn to stone where after a couple of fails then they're going to turn into pumpkins. So I really like this idea and I could see this in a somewhat of a puzzle adventure or some type of maze where you could draw for your characters, maybe roll, use this in a virtual tabletop and just have a lot of fun with it, especially with those scarecrows. I really dig this idea. Our next idea comes to us from Joan Dudley, who writes, A friendly flame spirit approaches the party, but it's small and dying. It must return to its vessel, which is a pumpkin, before sunup or perish. Its vessel has been stolen, and village kids are also smashing pumpkins. If the vessel is broken, it will also die. It will reward the PCs for helping out, but can they do so in time? So I really like this quest or one-shot idea as a role-play heavy type of an adventure. Our characters are going to have to go from house to house, business to business, and look at all these different pumpkins. A lot of them are probably going to look the same, and the only way they're going to be able to help the fairy is if they're going to be able to turn it over and be able to see what's written on the bottom half of the pumpkin. Now we also have kids that are going about smashing them, so they're going to have to stop them in time. I could see kids up on rooftops, maybe dropping them down, things of that nature. Nature. and I could also see families probably taking a knife out and getting ready to carve a jack-o'-lantern. So the characters are going to need to interact with these NPCs and try to stop them before they destroy what could be the flame spirit's home. And then I would probably end this adventure or this one shot with them finding it. It is in the window of a house and that house of course is going to belong to a hag. Now the fun part about the ending of this is the character is going to have to make a deal with the hag in order to get the pumpkin for the flame 
spirit. So what type of a deal are they going to make? Well, I'll leave that up to you. Be sure to leave a comment down below. Our next one-shot idea comes to us from Hellbound16, who writes, While traveling, adventurers find themselves walking through a pumpkin patch. It seems straightforward enough until one of the vines grabs a leg, and suddenly the team find themselves in an underground maze. Maybe some sort of trick designed by a fairy. To get out, they'll need to solve a puzzle involving the light of a jack-o'-lantern, carve the keyhole into a pumpkin-shaped door, and maybe fight through some pumpkin spice monsters. So this is a solid foundation for a one-shot Halloween adventure. We begin with our characters being drugged underground by some mysterious giant vines, and then once they're there, they need to ma navigate a maze. Now along the way, they can run into some pumpkin spice monsters. I don't even know what that would look like, so be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what your pumpkin spice monsters would look like. I would would probably have some type of a pumpkin head and they're walking around with like a Starbucks or a coffee cup full of their favorite pumpkin spice latte and perhaps it's a never-ending or always fills up type of a cup and they throw it in the adventurer's face in order to cause damage I don't know something silly like that I think that'd be a lot of fun but regardless we're still trying to find our way out of the maze so at the very end perhaps they find some type of a carving knife and the whole puzzle that they need to solve to get out of there is they find this giant pumpkin and they simply need to carve it into a jack-o'-lantern type thing but it just has a keyhole they put a little candle on the inside they light it up and once that keyhole is lit they're able to find perhaps another key that they found off of one of the pumpkin spice monsters put it into the pumpkin turn it and boom they're back home or are they let's have a lot of fun with this this was a great idea our final idea was submitted by Rivers RPG, who writes, A necromancer is raising the dead, but instead of heads, they have jack-o'-lanterns on their shoulders. These things are harder to destroy and stronger than regular undead. First, a shout out to Rivers RPG. He comments all the time on a lot of other YouTubers' channels and has a YouTube channel of his own. Be sure to check it out. So I really like this idea and I think what I would take with this is the necromancer has put an enchantment on these pumpkins and is handing these pumpkins out to those that want them for Halloween or for to create jack-o'-lanterns. But once this pumpkin is set on the ground, then magically underneath a zombie will erupt out of the ground and its head will take that of the jack-o'-lantern. So these pumpkins are fine until they're set down and then we have all heck breaking loose with undead. But let me know how you would use this in your adventure. So those are some one-shot or quest ideas that involve jack-o'-lanterns. Perfect for Halloween and a big thanks to everyone that submitted their ideas. I had a lot of fun reading through all of them. So for our next one, I think we're going to do Harvest Season, and that should be up on the Community tab now. So if you would like to see your name and your idea in a future video, then be sure to comment on the Harvest Season post and let us know what your idea is for a quest or a one-shot adventure. And also, before you leave this video, be sure to leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of all of these jack-o'-lantern type ideas ideas for one shots or leave one of your own. Thank you very much for watching and on to the next.